Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a review on the Preview Hendrix Earth Tone Dusted Rose Rat and Chinchilla Cage. So it retails for around 120 US dollars and this is what it looks like. I currently have three male rats in here and I did get some questions about what's happening with these guys. So Alan here should be going home by the end of the week, if not next week. And then Casimir there, yes, you're so cute, is getting neutered within that same time frame. And then I have little Durian in his hammock, back there, he'll come out soon, is also getting neutered with Casimir. And then once I get them back, they will be introduced to the girls and Uno, and then everybody will be in the same cage. Okay, basically the cage only has one door and it's this one here and it looks like this. It has a little like cam lock thing. Where come on guys? If you're kind of familiar with the cage then you'll realize that I don't have the ladders or the ledges that comes with the cage. So before I start the review, I do want to say that I got this caged used. So I had not had experienced it when it was brand new. However, I've had it for quite a few months now and used it, so I do feel as if I can give an honest opinion on the cage in general. So when I got the ledges and the ramps with the cage, they were completely rusted. And at first I thought it was just the previous owner that had you know, not really taking care of the cage. But then looking at some other reviews and some other comments on Facebook pages, I realized that it was not how the owner took care of the cage. A lot of people have had problems with this cage and the rusting. And then I did realize, if you can see here, that is also rusting on the cage as well as back there. You guys are just so cute. And I just went ahead and chucked out the ledges and everything that were just too rusted to be able to be used. And I did make these ledges and they get around just fine. They're young, so they don't have any issues. If I did have an, some older rats living in this cage with it set up like this, then I would probably go ahead and make some ladders. But as you can see, they get around just fine. I have also a video on how I made these ledges, so I will go ahead and post that below. And then this is just like a swing here that I got from Adorkable Design Pets that they also use to kind of get around. And this cage also comes with a tray, just like the Critter Nations do. And I originally was putting fleece in here, however it was such a pain in the butt to get the fleece in. Um, it just wouldn't go through these little spots right here as you can tell and um, I just had such a hard time and it would end up just bunching up and it just didn't end up looking nice in the end so I had resulted to go ahead and using Katie's comfy cozy bedding which doesn't really help much either because since it's loose bedding and this is pretty shallow they end up kicking it out everywhere but that's okay the cage also comes with this that goes in the second slot here, depending on what you want. However, if you have the tray up in the first slot, then this wire part will not fit in the second one. So this is basically if you want the wire flooring to be in the first one and the tray underneath to catch all the droppings. But I didn't want them stepping on just straight bars, so I just went ahead and I'm just not using it. It does have kind of like a dusty rose color, so I can see why it gets its name. Um, so, I mean, looking at the cage, it seems that it would be a pretty nice cage if you're looking at it online. The bar spacing is vertical when it comes to the actual cage and horizontal when it's on the door. And for some reason, the bar spacing is really small. Usually most small animal cages have bar spacing of a half an inch or an inch but I think this is actually a quarter inch and as you can see here just to get a regular size water bottle nozzle in here I had to bend the bars just so it would fit 
and that's kind of a pain. And then it just has a little tab here that you can move up and down um, if you so the, the tray doesn't get moved around too much. A lot of other people that I saw had problems with these bars actually just straight breaking. Um, they are a little thinner than a lot of other small animal cages, but I personally haven't had any issues with the bars snapping off or anything like that, but I can see it happening. And this door here is really annoying because it's not really that big. So when it comes to cleaning the cage, it's a huge pain in the butt trying to wipe down the shelves and everything like that. And I feel as if I can't really get in the cage to clean it properly because this door is so small. So for the price of the cage, I don't think it's worth it in my opinion. For $120, you can, for $10 more basically, you can get a single critter nation which is a lot better cage in my opinion. It's a lot easier to clean and it's also bigger. So I don't really suggest wasting your money on this cage particularly. I also don't think that it's big enough for a chinchilla. Um, it's okay for rats, but it's advertised for rats and chinchillas. And I just don't think it's big enough for them. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about this cage, go ahead and comment below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.